Hi, I'm Dwayne, a JavaScript developer advocate at Vonage. In this video walkthrough, you'll be creating a web application that will be able to call yourself on your phone using the Vonage Client SDK. You can find a full write-up of this tutorial and the repository for the complete project in the Vonage API developers documentation. A direct link will be in the description. There are a few prerequisites that will be needed before we can get started. Let's go through this one by one. To be able to use the Vonage Client SDK and CLI tool, an account will be needed. Here's how to get one. Go to dashboard.nexmo.com and if you already have one, sign in with your credentials. If you do not have a Vonage account, you will be able to sign up for one. Then you will be taken to the account dashboard. Take note of the account's API key and secret. They will be needed later. To be able to carry out tasks such as creating applications, purchasing Vonage numbers, and so on from the terminal, you will be using the Vonage command line interface or CLI tool. As the CLI tool requires Node, you will need to install that first. Go to Node's download section of their website. Which package you download will depend on the operating system you are using. Once Node is installed, make sure the version is at least 6.0.0 which is required by the CLI tool. You can check this by opening your terminal and running node space dash v. Next, you will install the Vonage CLI tool. As mentioned before, this will make it possible to do many things from the terminal, like create applications, purchase phone numbers, etc. In your terminal, type the following command. Next, you will link the CLI tool to your Vonage developer account. In your terminal, type this command making sure to replace API underscore key and API underscore secret with the values in your developer dashboard. Use the Vonage CLI to search and purchase an available phone number in your country. Make sure to use the two-character country code for your country. Numbers can also be purchased in the Vonage dashboard. In this step, you will create a webhook server that Vonage will send a request to when it receives an inbound call. The webhook server will return an NCCO that instructs Vonage on how to handle the call. In this case, forward the call to the phone number entered in the client-side web application. First, create a new project directory. Inside that folder, initialize a new Node.js project. Next, install the required dependencies. These include Express to use as a framework for the webhook server, Local Tunnel to make the server's endpoints publicly accessible to the internet so Vonage can send the inbound call request and call events. Also, install the client SDK. This will be used when building the client application in a future step. Inside the project folder, create a file named server.js and add the code as shown in the written tutorial. Change the subdomain placeholder with a random string of your choice between 4 and 20 alphanumeric characters letters and numbers, not underscores or dashes. And replace number with the Vonage number you purchased earlier. Make sure to save the file.
The Express server has two endpoints. The slash answer endpoint is where Vonage will send the inbound call requests. The endpoint will return the NCCO, which provides instructions on what to do with the call. In this case, it will speak some text and then connect to the phone number entered in the client-side web application, which is extracted from the request query to parameter. The slash event endpoint is where Vonage will send all the events that happened during the call. You can now start the server by running node server.js in the terminal. Make sure the terminal says the app is available and take note of the URL. It will be needed in the next step. In a new terminal in your project folder, create a Vonage application with this command. Make sure to change the values of the voice answer URL and voice event URL arguments by replacing subdomain with the actual value used in the previous step. Two files are created in the directory. One is a JSON file and the other is a private key. Also, the application ID is created. Take note of it, it will be needed in the future. Now, link your Vonage number to the application you created with this CLI command, making sure to replace your underscore Vonage underscore number and application underscore ID with the actual values. If you prefer, this can also be done in the Vonage dashboard. There needs to be an authenticated user to be able to make a call using the web application. Run the following command to create a user. The name will be Alice since that is a standard convention. This will return a user ID. The client SDK uses JSON web tokens, JWTs, for authentication. The JWT identifies the username the associated application ID, and the permissions granted to the user. It is signed using your private key to prove that it is a valid token. Use the CLI tool to generate a JWT for the user Alice by copying and pasting the following command from the written tutorial. Make sure to replace the app underscore ID with the application ID generated earlier and private underscore key with the name of your private key file. Again, in a production application, this is normally done on the server. Now for the web application that will be used to make the call to the phone number. Create a client underscore js dot html file in the project directory. Copy and paste the application code from the tutorial into the client underscore js dot html file. Make sure to replace paste your JWT here with the JWT created for the user Alice earlier. A few things to take note. The user interface allows you to enter a phone number and click the call button to make the voice call. The user is logged in using the JWT for authentication. The call server function makes the call and number is the destination phone number in E.164 format. To run the application, open the client underscore js dot html file in an internet browser. Type in the phone number to call, including the country code and removing any other symbols. Press the call button. If you open the browser's console, you can see the events of the call. If everything worked correctly, the phone should start ringing. You can answer it and hear yourself coming through the browser. Click the hang up button to end the call. If you view the terminal where the webhook server is running, you should see output from the endpoints similar to what is in the written tutorial.
To get more information on the topics covered in this walkthrough and a link to the completed code, please visit the written tutorial in the developer documentation. While you are there, take a look at the wide range of other offerings from Vonage and see what else you can build. Thanks.